One thing really quick before we get into this video, Joe's over here with the Fast Johnny Road Glide. This Thursday night at Bergen County Harley-Davidson is bike night. I'm going to be there. So if anybody has some time and can stop by Bergen County Harley-Davidson, uh, come on by. I think I'm probably going to be there around 6 p.m. And also this Saturday, head on over to Fielder's Pub. I'm going to leave all the links down below in the description. We are all heading over to the Baggers and Brews meetup. They're having a meetup from 9 to 11 a.m. at Fielder's Pub. Then they're going for a pretty nice, I think it's like a 70 or 80 mile ride. So I will be there at 9 a.m. Come on by. Again, I'll leave all the links down below in the description. We'll see you guys there. Make sure you guys check out Baggers and Brews YouTube channel and also on Instagram and TikTok. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We got Joe over there doing a little work but he's gonna be with us here shortly. He's got the brand new Road Glide Fast Johnny. I actually did a video, a short video when he just bought it, but he's, he's here now. So we're gonna actually go over the bike in some more detail because I wanna show you guys the bike. I wanna see the bike as well. Uh, we'll look it over, get his thoughts on it, and um, we'll see what his next steps are as far as what he's gonna do to the bike. I got Mad Max here. If you guys are new to this channel, 2022 Road Glide Standard with a whole bunch of stuff done, done to it. So check out all of the videos, Mad Max, and we got our 2023 Hayabusa that I just got the exhaust on, the BT Moto Tune on it, and a whole bunch of other awesome stuff. We are going to, I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for a whole bunch more uh, content on this, which we are going to bring to you guys. Just been crazy busy. All the packages are out. If you guys are still waiting for a package there, everything is shipped already. So you guys should uh, get it here in a couple days. We got my man Joe over here. Joe, why don't bring it over here? This video is sponsored by Kemi Moto. So they sent me uh, over a whole bunch of awesome things. Joe is actually going on a long trip to Louisiana and I think these items are going to help him a lot. I'm gonna leave a link down below to the Kemi Moto website. Also, I'm gonna leave you guys a link, Cycle Fanatics, which is good for 15% off of your entire order. This thing is an absolute beauty. I just love the blue. I love the white on it. A lot of you guys have been saying that it's like that old school hot rod type of thing with the white stripes and stuff. What do you think about it, Joe? I love it. You love it, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't say anything bad about it. I know, it's beautiful. The know. blue, I'm telling you, I can't get over the blue. Okay. I just, I love the blue. Does it have metallic yes, or it does, it does you right? It in the sun, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. You get a piece of it back here in the sun on the back. Oh, yeah, it does. See, yep, yeah. yep. It's just their paint. Harley paint is something else, huh? Beautiful. So what what did you do to it so far? You got the windshield, right? Yeah, the windscreen, the What bars. is that, nine inch? Yeah. Nine inch. I got the bars. The factory 47, so factory 47, inch, right lower. there. Yeah. Uh, highway pegs. Highway I pegs. I did add this seat temporarily. I got that saddleman ordered. Yep, the saddleman's uh, coming. I put the passenger pegs on for my wife. She likes to ride with me. Nice, nice. Came with the docking hardware, so I could just snap on. Right. The backrest. So stay right. tuned. We're gonna be hooking up. Uh, we're gonna be hooking up Joe with a beautiful road sofa saddleman uh, with the blue stitching, right? Correct. That's coming probably, uh, it was five to six weeks, uh, about what, two weeks ago? Yeah. So should be coming in probably in about four weeks. Wheels, another thing you were saying, you're gonna be probably doing a stainless probably Absolutely. exhaust? Absolutely, yeah, that's what I'm definitely thinking of going. Stainless exhaust, let it bring out the bronze and the wheels. Exactly. And the that's, yeah, that's gonna look, I think that's gonna look awesome, I'm stainless getting, yeah, exhaust. I'm getting excited for the exhaust because <laughs> it's just a little too quiet for me. I know, I know. Did you, you know which one you're gonna go with? John, the more I look, the more I get confused. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just too, there's a lot of stuff out there. There's right. a lot of things to read. Right, but, right, uh, right. And no cam work, nothing now, right? No. Not for now. Yeah. No, not for now. I mean, it runs strong. It's yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You just you just want it a little more louder. Absolutely, and it'll give a it'll give just that little touch more performance. Right, you know, right, right. Get it to breathe just a little bit better. The hand grips you had on from yeah, the previous bike, exactly, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, the bars I really like. If you ever see those stockers, yeah. Sometimes they're just too tight, you know. Right, uh, right. You Especially push, for tall guys yeah, like you can us. Push yeah. Push them up a little bit. It's a little bit better, but. Right, right, right. Know, these open everything up for me. I know it's true. It's so true. Yeah, the blue is just it's just beautiful. Well, you got any other plans for it or? Not too much. I'm definitely taking a trip down that Notches Trace Parkway. I was uh, just telling them you're going. Where yeah. you where are you guys going? All the way to Louisiana? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, wow. the Notches is going to start. It's uh, southeast of Na Nashville, Tennessee. Right. So we'll ride out to Tennessee. Uh, it kind of links up with Route 40, and then we're going to take that through Alabama, Mississippi. It actually ends in Mississippi, but you're so close. To Louisiana, we're gonna go through Louisiana. I'll have to go down Bourbon Street. Oh hell that's yeah! All about. You ever been there? No, I know no. I haven't. Okay. So it'll be a new trip for me. Awesome. Watch some videos on the Parkway. It's a non-commercial road. No oh no trucks. kidding! Yeah. Oh wow. So not too many exits. So you know you can lay back. Gotcha. Enjoy gotcha. the scenery. Oh, you got the heated gear? Yes. Yeah. You you got it. Awesome. Yeah, that was an add-on too. Yeah, good. Absolutely came with the heat deflectors they were on there oh yeah it did didn't come have with it huh on my other bike oh they, it came with it, it huh came with those, oh yeah. nice okay sweet so beautiful bike let me know what you guys think but i love the blue i love uh the blue with the white stripes i just love it all the logos everything i love it the color is absolutely amazing so listen, for your trip, this is what I got. Can we open your saddlebags? You got a lot of stuff in them? Uh, I have stuff in this one. This one here is empty. Yeah. Yeah, that one's empty? This one's empty. Yeah. All right. We got, a, we got a bunch of stuff here from Kemimoto. So this is a... Check this out. Let's see if I'll fit in your... Maybe take that out. Because that, that is a bag. Here, let me take that out. That is... Um, Oh, it'll go in there for sure. Yeah. Is it a cooler bag? That's a cooler oh, bag. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's John, a... I've been wanting to get one of those. <laughs> really? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's a cooler bag, right? So basically, yeah, it fits just like that. Nice. And it acts as a cooler. Or, I mean, literally, you could put clothes in here. But what's cool about it is when you go to the hotel, sure, you just pick it up and, you just it pick it up exactly and go. What I do, yeah. You know what I mean? So we got the cooler bag from Kemimoto. Here, let me put this down. I'm gonna show you another thing, couple other little things I got for you. So we got a couple other cool items here from Kemimoto. These are, uh, I guess, bag Organized. organizers. Yeah. They're not liners, they're bag organizers. That's the right side, that's the left side, but very cool because you, you guys know. Here, why don't you put that on, Joe? I think, yeah, the holes have to go through there. So you take this out Correct. Yeah. and you put that on. All you guys obviously have a bunch of stuff laying around in your bags. If you don't have liners, these are really good to have because you can store all your stuff. Super easy to put on. Very cool. Yeah, and you got, look, you got all yeah, the pockets, stuff all the, all stuff the zippers, the right, yep. absolutely. And plus all the stuff isn't, isn't jiggling around right. in the bottom, you know? Keeps everything organized. Hence the word bag organizers. <laughs> Very cool. They fit perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice big pocket. Couple pockets, zippers, paperwork. Yeah, it's so easy to install. Simple. Two seconds. Simple. And you got this one's a little different. This one's got a pocket, zip pocket, and then zip pocket on the bottom, and then it's got like a flashlight holder. Oh no, it's got a just a slide-in pocket. You got a big netted pocket in the front. Yeah, it just keeps, you know what, keeps everything from rattling at the Absolutely, bottom. Absolutely, man, and be organized. Right. Instead of just throwing a bunch of stuff in there, like right. you know, go all over right. the place. That's all that's to it. Oh, hell yeah. See, that's perfect. And you got a latch right there for keys or something, a couple, zippered pockets if you want to check that out go to the links below i'll have a code for you guys cycle fanatics you could get 15 percent off and you got the cooler bag cooler bag oh, trust me on that 
and that fits perfect. You're actually looking for one. <laughs> that's serious. Yeah. Hey, listen, when you go to barbecue, you, you bring your own beers, right? John, so you, you bring your own out, steaks. I go out for a day ride. Oh, I that's take true. Lunch, some cold right, 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 right. Exactly. They stay cold, they stay cool. Absolutely. It's great. Yeah, or I said you could, if you go on a long trip, you could actually put clothes in here and yeah, just take absolutely. everything right out. Here you go. One one other thing, Joe. Check this out. We'll see how she fits. Keep her, because I asked Joe, I said, do you have a cover for this brand new <laughs> beauty? That's a cover. Also from Kemimoto. We'll close up the bags here. Where's the front? Let me see. Probably Hang on, here. let me... Yeah, probably. Let me see. This is... Yeah, take that first. You have some... Um, yeah, see, like, this is for where the mirrors are. Yep. Yep. Ah, oh, this thing oh. fits like a champ. Very cool. Very cool. Where is this one? Let me see. Oh, there it is. Oh, what's cool about this too is you got that buckle right here that you can strap underneath the bike, you see? Mm -hmm. You know you know what's good about these covers too? When you go on a trip, oh, covered overnight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially if it's raining or something, you know. This thing fits great. Yeah, I got one of these myself. Yep, and it's big enough and it has the strap underneath where you could attach it underneath the bike. Right there, you see? Right there. Right, so you flip it under and you lock flip it, it together, You flip it under, tight. lock the it so it's... Can't get exactly, it exactly. And you could also cinch this nice and tight yep. as well. Awesome. Fits good. It sure does. You know what I like about it? It covers the whole bike. Yeah. You don't see anything exposed, the wheels or anything, you know? So seat coming and then exhaust, and you, you're not sure which one, right? I am. Uh, I'm not just yet. You know, I'm like looking into the tuners because you do the exhaust, and then you got to retune it. Right. You know, I don't want to lose that warranty quote, too. Yeah, 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 of course. I never, I thought it was smooth, but that's like a, cr almost like a yeah. crinkle yes, finish yes, on the bronze. Yeah. Yep, it's got a texture That's pretty to cool, it. right? I like, like the that. wheels, you know. I mean, oh, I, I like honestly, I do, I do too. I mean, you already, you got the trim, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here on the engine, even on the cam cover right yeah, there. Some of the badging is no in with, the right, right with. I mean, with uh, like you said, with the stainless steel exhaust, it's gonna look great. Of course, you could see even behind this heat shield where this is already turned bronzed right. out. You know, yeah, it's gonna match, like Sandy's pipe yeah, now, exactly. right? What do you guys think about the Fast Johnny? I, like I keep telling you guys, I love it. I love the paint. I love the stripes on it. I like how they did um, pretty much everything on the bike. And I think when Joe gets that stainless steel exhaust, we'll keep you posted. I'll show you guys the bike. We'll do do a video on it. And uh, he's not sure, you're not sure which one you're gonna go with yet, but there's, there's a bunch of companies. I mean, there's a lot of companies that are doing stainless steel exhausts. And then I want to lighten the bike up, get it to breathe a little better. Right, right. That cat, right. Which you're not supposed to do. But. <laughs> yeah, we, we can't say that. <laughs> nice. What else? Anything else? No, right? Down the road? No, I don't think so, John. Uh, I'm probably going to get a set of crash bars for the bags. Oh, yeah? Okay. You know, just in case. Right. Pl well, know. plus plus uh, your wife rides. Yes. Yeah. You know, I What about a tour pack? I have the rack. I don't have a tour pack. Where I just that—that's a good question because well, can you get one painted in this scheme? You know, how would they you might. That out? You're gonna have to talk to the dealer. Yeah. But if anybody does know that, can you order a tour pack to match, to match uh, the Fast Johnny? Johnny because yeah. I think that would look cool. Yeah. Yeah. If but plus she would plus she would have a seat, yeah. uh, backrest yeah. I should say. You know what I mean? Because the tour pack would act like a like a act rest, like a backrest yeah. for her. Can't spoil it too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the car play yet on here or no? No. no? Let's see if I have a plug. You use ca Apple CarPlay? Yeah, I, do, sure. I don't even know if I have another plug. 
All right, look what I found. Joe actually uses uh, iPhone, and I just asked him if he had Apple CarPlay on the bike. So I did this video a while ago. This is all you need. Did you know okay, about this? Yeah, I saw your video. Yeah. yeah, this is like $13 on Amazon. This is like a, kind of like almost like a dummy plug. It's all it has is a loop right there at the end. And you got to take the fairing off, but the connector is right under there and it literally takes two seconds and you want to do it we're yeah, going to do sure. it so we're going to install this and I, i'll show you guys exactly i've did this video again but listen we're going to hook joe up i have the connector we'll show you guys how the apple carplay works and i'm going to go over another thing while we're doing that because a lot of people keep asking me about the bluetooth and how my bike is set up where you see i have wireless charging on my quad lock i don't have the dongle in there anymore it's actually in there with the bluetooth connector so that's another thing you may want to do um you know in time but right now like to get apple carplay like i don't even have to plug it in like you guys have to plug it in into there so watch like i'll show you let me go grab my keys really quick so like if you guys wanted apple carplay on your bike you would actually have to put this piece in here underneath i'll show you guys where to connect that but then if you guys have your phone on you you will have to physically plug your phone in into that dongle that's in the right cubby but i don't have to do that as you guys could see look nothing is plugged in i'm going to leave my phone right there on the seat if you come up here i already have apple carplay you see let me get it. It just takes a second or two to hook up. And the reason why you don't have to plug anything in is because I took that, that USB wire out of the cubby and I took it back up into underneath the fairing. All you got to do is buy like a hundred dollar Bluetooth wireless adapter. And then that's what you plug into the wire that's in the cubby, but you actually leave it here, tuck it all nice and neat underneath the fairing. And then you'll have Apple CarPlay on the bike. Also, like I have the quad lock and I have right now, see it's charging. So you see right there, you could see that the phone is charging. So I don't have any wires, anything hooked up to the phone for Apple CarPlay or wireless charging, zero. It's really nice and simple, the setup that I have. And you see right there is Apple CarPlay. I have music, I have my phone, I have Waze, whatever I need. You see, my phone is not tethered or connected to the bike and I have Apple CarPlay. But now when we hook up Joe's, we're gonna give him Apple CarPlay, but because he doesn't have the wireless adapter yet, you see you see the wire is in there, Joe. You wanna hold on to that for a second? So right here is that dongle that I'm talking to you about, that dongle. Mm -hmm. You gotta actually pull that out and just leave it up under there and just plug the wireless adapter in. Right. And that's it. So this way, when you get onto the bike, you don't have to connect anything. Correct. All right, we're going to take all the fairings off, and uh, we're going to take the fairing off, and we'll show you exactly where this connector goes. All right, <laughs> so I got... That's what happens. Joe brings his brand new Fast Johnny over here, and I'm tearing it apart already. <laughs> but just so you guys know, this, this piece right here, that's, that's the part number. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description so you guys could check it out. That's this, about 13 bucks. It does not plug into there, not the one on the top. It plugs into the one underneath this stainless piece right here, okay? So it's like in the back. So what you're going to have is you're going to have to pull this plug out. You see, I just pulled out that rubber plug and then all you do we're going to just plug that right in yeah it's like so easy you want to hold that yeah. for a second you can be the cameraman Joe. and that's Smart. it okay so that's plugged in right there now what i want you to do 
This is yeah, we'll take care antenna. of that. That's the light antenna. Yeah, that's the antenna. Oh, that's the antenna. Oh, right. So Joe did the. Uh, what is it called? It's just a, it's the firing antenna. Firing antenna. I didn't even know. Okay, we'll put that back um, because you don't have the antenna anymore right. over there, right? Yeah. All right. So plug your plug your phone in. Turn the bike on. Yeah. Plug it into there. We're gonna check all this before we put everything back together. So that's the dongle I'm talking about. So instead of you plugging into that and plugging it into your phone, you gotta attach the Bluetooth, wireless Bluetooth adapter to that. And then I pull it out of there and I just left it underneath this panel. So this way I have nothing from the cubby. So now it should come up. Unlock iPhone to use accessory. Yep. Allow. Look. Oh, yeah. Came Look at right that. Up. Boom. Cool. <laughs> so now you got maps. Oh, that's cool. You got music. You got your phone. You got everything. Boom. For 13 bucks. See how simple that is, guys? Isn't it? So now, like I said, all you need is that Bluetooth. You pull that wire out, which is... Um, this one right here. You see that wire? That's the wire that comes in through the top. That's plugged into your phone now. Mm -hmm. So you just pull it out. I silicone the hole. You pull it out, plug the Bluetooth adapter, leave it in there, and you're done. And now every time I get on my bike, I don't have to, I don't have, because these yeah. wires used to drive me crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. They drove me crazy. And plus they fray because of the wind. wind yep. They hit your bike. Yep. They get in the way yeah. of, of you turning the wheat, you know, yeah. turning the handlebars. Yeah, I so. always try to tighten it up. Right, right, exactly. And there you go, Apple CarPlay. Now, now my man is hooked up. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put the fairing back together. All right, so we got his, uh, show us, show us how it works one more time. We got his bike back together. And now, at least for your trip down to Louisiana, right? Yep. You could actually have the Waze working and Absolutely. all that good stuff. So you just have to do it one time. So the phone allows it to pair with the with the uh, boom box here. And then you just give it uh, a quick second. I hear it actually I hear it vibrate. Yeah. Yep, you and go. see? A couple seconds, CarPlay comes on. And if you want to go into further uh, apps, you could go right there. And then obviously oh, that's cool. you could get onto your ways. That's what I normally use because the ways gives you like potholes, car stopped, uh, police, um, you know, everything roadkill. It gives you everything. So that's, it also gives you your speed, which I like. So I don't have to look down. I just look right, right up there. And it also gives you the speed limit. If you see that in red, that means you're going over oh, the speed limit. So it's always red, John? Mine's, mine's pretty much always red. <laughs> That's not necessarily true. But listen, you got to go faster than the speed of traffic if you want to stay alive on these two-wheel babies. You know what I mean? All right, brother. Thanks for stopping John, by. Appreciate you. you, my man. It's always great. Love man. you, brother. Appreciate you. Uh, this bike is awesome. Stay tuned because Joe is, like I said, he's got a lot of stuff happening. The seat, the exhaust. We'll see what else he... Uh, has in store for us with the bike, but it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, hopefully you guys like this video. You guys got a little bit of everything today and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, catch you guys later.